I know it's uh, difficult to think about the ultimate sacrifice that our officers pay, but that's precisely the reason that uh, it's important for us all to be here today. We're going to memorialize three officers, uh, West Valley Officer Cody Brotherson and Trooper Eric Ellsworth, both of whom were killed in November of 2016, as well as Salt Lake City Officer Roland Tanner, who was killed in 1927. When I talk about service and sacrifice, we have a military slogan that I think is very appropriate that you've heard before. It says, all gave some, some gave all. And all that's kind of a reference to the military. And our law enforcement people are very similar. Uh, everyone are doing something. Some give the ultimate sacrifice and their service to we as a community. And we ought to pay tribute. And we, we look at role models in life. I would suggest to all of us that the heroes that we ought to emulate are not necessarily the rock stars and the sports heroes. They probably have great things and qualities we ought to emulate. But our law enforcement personnel who really uh, uh, go out and lay it on the line each and every day for their citizens, their neighbors, and friends that they many times don't know. So again, let me just say that on behalf of the 3.1 million people in Utah, I represent as governor, I'm here to say thanks. Thanks to all of you. You know, just a couple of days ago, I covered a story up in Box Elder County. Uh, on private property, this family put up this huge cross. It's a memorial for Utah Highway Patrol Trooper Eric Ellsworth. And it's, it's huge. It's 20 feet tall, and it's lit up at night. You just don't see things like that in other states. Maybe a handful here and there, but certainly not like what we see here in Utah. And maybe that's why we have a memorial like this one here because it is a way to show that we all care. If a law enforcement officer dies keeping us safe and doing their job, we can't forget that sacrifice. We hear all the time, never forget, and this memorial promises that. There are real men and women behind these cold metal plates back here. They're more than just names on a wall. And that may be the biggest reason why this memorial here is so important. Not just to honor the men and women whose names are on here, but to let their families know their sacrifice wasn't for nothing. They matter. And in this brotherhood and sisterhood of law enforcement officers, they will never be alone. As Cody's family, our life has been forever changed by his loss. There is never a day that goes by that we don't shed tears, laugh at the memories we have with him, wonder what might have been in his future had he not been stolen on a cold November night. We will continue to make sure that Cody's life and sacrifice and legacy are not forgotten. We ask everyone to please remember each day the men and women of law enforcement who put their lives on the line every time they go to work. Each time they walk out the door, knowing there's a chance they will not come back. Cody James, we love you and miss you more than words can describe. You were our hero first, and we will always strive to keep your memory alive. On November 22nd, 2016, having gained a hero, Eric was brave, enough to face danger, even if that meant putting his life on the line. In years to come, those that see Eric's name on this memorial wall may just see another name of a fallen hero. But to those who knew and love Eric personally, it will mean much more. It will be a deserving tribute to a father that loved with all his might, a husband who was loyal, a son that made his parents proud, a brother who was looked up to and so deeply cared for, and a friend that was always there in a listening ear. Right now, my arms are empty without Eric but my heart is full. I will be forever grateful that his life can be honored in this way. Not a day goes by that our th thoughts aren't consumed with the loss of Eric. We love him and fill a void every day.